Just because it's a former Benjamin Moore color of the year doesn't mean you shouldn't use it this year. Looking to add a subtle and elegant gray to your home's palette? Well, have I got the color for you. I'm James from thepaintpeople.com, and this is our YouTube channel all about painting and decorating. Whether you're a pro or an average Joe, we got you covered. This is a segment we like to call Color Code, cracking the code on color selection. It's a series where we discuss paint colors in detail, their undertones, and how to best use them in your home or your customers. If there are any colors you want on Color Code, don't forget to comment below and let us know. And also, thank you for subscribing. When it comes to paint colors, there are so many different shades of gray out there, way more than 50. Not only do you have to figure out what shade you need for your space, but also the undertones as well. A good portion of the grays that I end up using tend to be on the warmer side of things, even shifting from gray to grayish. But there are a lot of designs nowadays that tend to work much better with cooler color schemes. That's when you want your gray to feel like gray and nothing else. Today's color code is AF690, and it was designated as the Benjamin Moore 2019 Color of the Year. Metropolitan is a mid-tone gray color that possesses some cooler tones without pushing it into blue territory. Let's see what the company has to say about it. A stylish gray with cool undertones, Metropolitan reflects the modern sophistication of 21st century design. I couldn't agree more, Benjamin Moore. More modern design trends tend to favor a certain level of neutrality as well as a minimalist approach to color. People are no longer picking a color for every single room in the house and making the walls the accents, but rather going for something subtle but hard harmonizes the space altogether. Metropolitan has an LRE of 50, which puts it smack dab in the middle of the depth spectrum. Colors around that range usually have a decent amount of actual tint inside them, which can mean more visually apparent undertones, pulling the color in one direction or another. While some cooler grays venture a bit too far in the cool direction, Metropolitan manages to curb its coolness, leaving you with a very contemporary gray complements other neutrals very well. It can sometimes have a tendency to show a touch of green, but the overall effect is extremely understated, which gives the color a very muted look. Where are some of the best places to use it? Even with its lower LRV, Metropolitan is a pretty versatile color. There's nothing all that jarring about it, meaning it'll blend into a space pretty easily. Being a slightly cooler gray, it will make the space appear more modern and sleek rather than a cozier, warmer gray would, for example. It all depends on what you're trying to portray. With enough light and the right decor, you could use Metropolitan all over your house as a main color, but my favorite place to use it is in the kitchen. Whether you're throwing it on the walls against a beautiful white marble countertop, or even on the kitchen cabinets themselves, it's a color that I find really, really suits whites and other more industrial grays. The monochromatic color scheme in general. What color should you pair it with? I go back and forth with trim color on this one because it depends on your decor. If you have a lot of light, creamy accents within the room, against those gray metropolitan walls, a touch of warmth on the baseboards is also quite lovely. You can't go wrong with simply white in that case. A more straightforward and perhaps clean choice would be to use Chantilly lace on the doors and trims. I don't always like to recommend it because it's quite bright and stark, but if the 21st century streamlined aesthetic is what you're going for, why not go with the brightest white Benjamin Moore makes? What are some alternatives? If you wanted to double down on the cooler blue-green hue of Metropolitan, check out HC165 Booth Bay Gray. If a warmer tint is what you're after, maybe something with a bit of brown, a kind of a taupey gray, then check out this color right here. It's a fantastic mid-tone gray that's on the warmer side of things. I wouldn't even call it a grayish as much as a brown gray. A bray, or brown, whatever. That's it for this one. See you on the next one.